section 5.7. In this section, we're doing division with algebra, and we're going to do long division because we're, we're dividing a polynomial by a polynomial. So first, what we're going to do is look at how we do long division for just arithmetic with no variables. And the process is really similar when we move over to do it to algebra. So first, let's look at arithmetic. So let's take a look at 658 divided by 2. So if I want to do this out, what I do is say, OK, 2 goes into 6, or 6 divided by 2 three times. Put the answer on top. Then I do 3 times 2 is 6. And I subtract that. And I bring down the next guy. All right, so I did divide. Then I got the answer for my division, put it on top, then I multiplied that answer times the outside, 3 times 2. That equaled 6. I subtracted that 6 from the number on the inside, and I brought down the next guy. We're going to repeat the process over and over again. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So now I do 5 divided by 2. So 5 over 2, well, the 2 fits in 2 times. 2 times 2 gives me 4. I subtract that. Bring down the 8. And then 18 by 2, that goes in exactly 9 times. 9 times 2 is 18. Subtract, and I get a 0, so I have no remainder. Therefore, my answer is 329. And we can check the answer by just verifying that 329, the answer up here, times the 2 equals 658. And if you do that out, you'll see that it does work out. Now we're going to use the same process for an algebra division. We're going to do divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. And again, we're just doing no remainders. So our first problem we'll try is x squared minus x minus 6 being divided by x minus 3. And we're going to divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And when I do these out, I find it very helpful to have this column written down on the side that has the process steps. So we divide first term by first term, x squared over x, which gives us an x. We take that answer, put it on top. Then we're going to multiply. So we got to distribute x times x minus 3. And x times x minus 3 is x squared minus 3x. We're going to take this answer and subtract it right here. OK, so that gets subtracted. And x squared minus x goes away. Minus x, take away a minus 3, add the opposite, minus plus 3. So that gives us 2x. Bring down the take away 6. No x there. And then we start over again. So now we're going to do, once again, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Divide first term by first term. 2x over x. And that gives us a 2. 2 is positive, so we do plus 2 on top. Then we take that 2, multiply it by the outsides. 2 times x minus 3. And distributing, that gives us 2x minus 6. We're going to take that 2x minus 6 and subtract it right here. 2x minus 2x is gone. Minus 6 minus a minus, plus is out, leaves us a 0. So our answer is x plus 2. 
And just like with the arithmetic, we can check the answer by checking to make sure x plus 2 times x minus 3 equals the inside. And if we do a quick foiling, we get x squared minus 3x plus 2x is minus x, then take away 6, and it works. So our answer with no remainder is x plus 2. For any long division problem, you're going to follow the same process. Divide first term by first term. Take the answer. Put it on top. Multiply the answer by the divisor. Take that answer that you get and subtract it. After you subtract, bring down the next guy. So you're always going to divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. Hey, hey.